Hey guys, Crypto Keeper here, and today we have an extra special video for you guys, um, which is something we haven't done before. This is the Crypto Keeper gardening special. <laughs> yeah, you might wonder why we're in the garden doing a spot of gardening. Well, it's because I want to show you guys how you can make a, a bug hotel. Obviously, I, when I go out and about talking about animals and how important insects are to our environment, the ecosystem for plant growth, I thought I could show you how you can help our own native UK species of bugs thrive in your garden. So what we've done is I've gone and cut out all this circular bit around this bushy thing. Um, that shows you my gardening knowledge. It's a bushy thing. And we are gonna build a bug hotel over in this corner here and then we're gonna plant some wild flowers and uh, so allow the butterflies and bees to come in so yeah so you want to know how we would build a bug hotel so first of all I've gone and dug out all this area here and I've got some pallets okay what's your next step get some pallets so we have 10 half size pallets here now how you how you can get pallets these are recycled pallets or used pallets from a local company just if you contact them ask if they have any spare pallets that I need to be disposed of and ask if you can have them I've used half pallets here so they're the small ones so not the full size ones because I don't obviously have a lot of room that's all what's you know we've got so 10 pallets I think this is going to probably be too many but we're going to break some of them up and use some of the bits to help it build the bulk hotel so next step is we need to remove all this plastic plastic on top here so we're going to remove that plastic because that's no use we don't need that we don't like plastic uh, and we're gonna um, build our buckle down okay step one we put one pallet down okay this is pretty simple all we're doing is stacking the pallets on top of each other okay so I've put one right underneath the bush there and we're gonna stack them all up uh, maybe seven high we'll see how we get on okay so we've stacked them all up. I'm using seven. I think the extra one just maybe a bit too high. Um, so we've just gone with seven. So this is our bug hotel. Now we need to like try and fill it now. So what you do is you the gaps that are in between in here, and here, and here. You just jam it pack full with um, sticks, uh, stones, bricks. If you've got any bricks, they're quite good to use. Um, and just basically jam them jam them in and make it all nice and tight. But also weigh it down, if you use rocks, you'll weigh it down so that the wind doesn't blow it off, because it's not all nailed together. It's just uh, uh, using, you know, stacked on top of each other. And we can actually use the bottom bit here. You see there's a gap down in there. And leave that free, because then this can also be part of a hedgehog hide as well. So if you cover up the uh, edges around about here um, and the other side, hedgehogs could be coming. I might even actually cover up this side here and then the hedgehogs can come from behind the bush and maybe they'll make a, a home in there just maybe okay so that's what we're gonna do so next time next next up now we're gonna start filling this all up okay the buck hotel is now finished luckily my next door neighbor had been trimming down his tree in his back garden so We've got a lot of branches and some leaves, so we've left the, we've finished off the bottom bit by putting some bits of wood around both sides so that it makes it enclosed so that if it is used by a hedgehog, it can get in there. Um, put some dry leaves in amongst there as well for bedding so that'll encourage them to go in there. Um, next layer is just uh, rocks and wood jam packed in there. You can see the rocks there all jammed in there. Um, then we've got another layer of branches lots of branches all tightly packed then we've got some leaves now these obviously these leaves have just come from a tree that's been cut down but obviously over time these are going to decompose to the same at the top there and um, lots of so they can decompose and um, let some bio bugs in there there you go some more in there and then we've just got loads and loads of wood stacked up from the pallets just jam packed in there so the bugs can go in so that's our bug hotel so we're going to call it Buggingham Palace that's a good name, yeah. Buggingham Palace. That's Buggingham Palace. Now we're just going to try and encourage some more bugs to come around. So we're going to plant some flowers around about the bug hotel just to conceal it a little bit, but also 
um, allow bees and butterflies to fly and to get some nectar off the plants. Okay, now I'm no plant expert but I was given some advice on what I should plant best for things like bees and butterflies you know the pollinating insects so I've got a selection of different animals don't, uh, animals different plants um, don't ask me what they are <laughs> because I don't have a clue um, I know that this one here is like a clematis I think and it's a climbing plant so it's going to climb up over the top of the bug hotel I think that's a foxglove there uh, that's not a foxglove but something similar uh, another foxglove there I believe this one here is lavender uh, bees love that and this one I don't know what it is it's a flower this one's another flower and this one here looks like a weed but it's actually like a almost like a thistle but it's got a flower at the top like a big uh, purple flower and then I've got some ivy around here so ivy's going to grow up over the fence and take over um, yeah so that's the flower part of things so attract some bugs to the hotel so obviously eventually this hotel you can hardly see it because of all the flowers um, and the clematis going over the top of it so it's going to be really well um, covered so that the bugs can all have a nice home I'm away to go and plant some flowers here and uh, not flowers sorry some seed okay and um, because I've just gone and put in uh, like already grown flowers but I've got some seeds that I'm going to plant here and these are all wild flowers I'm going to plant them all the way along front and at the back there so that they can grow but that won't be until next year but it'll be interesting to see how it comes along because I'm just going to just like put them like willy nilly so it's just like random uh, like I said I'm not a gardening expert but I just wanted to make a little spot for my bug friends in the garden yeah so I'll come back and I'll show you guys so there we go nice little bug bug garden point for my for my uh, for my garden okay guys so that is the bug garden stroke bug hotel if you've got any questions it's pretty straightforward you can do it yourself yeah pretty easy but if you've got any questions leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try and answer them this is good for you guys school visits you can easily do this in your school grounds um, one afternoon you could do this get some might even get some donated flowers from garden centers possibly and yeah get building your bug hotels so that is Buggingham Palace and all of the flowers that are going to attract the butterflies and bees. Thanks for watching guys. Mr. Critter Keeper, the top ace gardener, <laughs> over and out. See you, bye.